Hi and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. These are two happy chickens that I found in the shops and I've added some fused glass to them to make them into extra specially happy chickens. So today I'm going to show you how to make these. So for this project I decided I'm going to press some glass to go in the back. I want it to be quite transparent. And then I'm also going to press some eggs and um, I don't know what these parts are called. I feel this is called like the wobble or something and it's hacked. Um, I'm also going to glue some glass on, on those as well. So I have basically, luckily we've got a photocopier, so I just photocopied this. On a prior project I drew round and then ended up with Sharpie on this. And I don't really want Sharpie on this because I'm going to um, uh, glue the glass to this and I want it nice and kind of looking as neat as possible. Um, because if you've got a good woodworker around, or a good husband, or you're a good person with wood yourself, um, these are quite easy to make, this kind of thing. Um, it's just, M I always want to get MDMA, something totally different, MDF, um, and uh, yeah, MDF, and you just, um, you know, presumably if you have a router or something. I'm not into woodwork, I'm going to say I wouldn't have a clue how to make this. But I'm sure there are people out there who have the skills or have someone in their life or know someone who has the skills who could kind of make shapes like this. So that's also an option rather than buying them. And that would probably be a bit cheaper. Um, although, you know, Jesus, because these are from China, they're only two euros, which is about two dollars. Um, anyway, I have then drawn round on the fibre paper these different shapes. And then I'm going to use, as we call them, Stanley. I think you call them in America, exacto knife just to cut this out. Now, I've gone a little bit bigger this time, I'm trying to see if you can see, um, than the outside, because I want to make sure that if we need to grind anything off, there's a little bit of extra. It's not very much bigger. It's just a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Um, so I'm now going to cut this out. I've got two of them to do. Then they'll go on a kiln shelf and uh, we, I will start filling them up with scrap, maybe some frits, um, but I'll show you how I'm going to do that.
So here they are ready to go in the kiln and we can see how they look when they come out. So here are these um, after being pressed. Um, some areas obviously didn't fill well enough. When you don't fill well enough, it just doesn't melt together well. So this was well filled, but the edges and the tail and the crown weren't. So I'm gonna have to put more glass in. I'm actually just gonna put some scrap texture on top um, of this and put it back in to press some more. I will fill these, the eggs up with just a bit more um, of the frit I used. Um, but the chickens, I'm just going to put more um, some scrap tech there. So here this is um, refused and and uh, pressed. I'm now going to clean them up and sort of grind them to uh, tidy them up. So now all the parts are out of the kiln, we can glue it together. So here they are, all nicely glued together. I think they're so fun, these. They kind of have little rocking chickens. Um, if I hold them up to the light, you can see that You've got this sort of beautiful stained glass effect behind. Um, I think it works really well. I think they're such fun pieces. And again, the buying the chickens not very expensive. They were only a few euros each, that was a few dollars. And then you add these fused glass bits to them and it makes them into a really special uh, Easter decoration. Or just if you like chickens, they can be at any time of year decoration. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember you can get all our products at tablasglassemporium.com and please sign up to our newsletter, subscribe, like this video, share it. And I, until next time, happy fusing.